Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have the Elegant Ascot Showcase die set from Tonic Studios to share with you. It's this large die set, A4 in size and it comes in a plastic wallet and there are 35 different dies in the set. So it says on the packaging that it's a hat box inspired gift box that it makes but I've gone ahead and cut out some of these dies because as you can see they will make a taller hat box, a shorter one. There's the lid and lots and lots of beautiful decorative pieces. But I've gone ahead and cut some out and I know for sure that lots of these can be used not only for making this gift box but for making different kinds of cards as well. So I'll show you what I mean. There's this beautiful panel here and that is by cutting out this die. This die. I'll just move this over so we can see it on the white here. So this die and this one together give you this beautiful shape here and that can be used backed on to different colours just even onto a rectangle. I'm just showing it here so that you can see the, the beautiful delicate pattern on it but that could definitely be used on a card. There's the shorter one there as well, it's a similar thing only shorter. We've got this gorgeous circle so there are two layering circles here and it's just a very very fine line in between those two layers but you've got a stitched circle like this and then you've got this beautiful intricate die here so that is verso so it doesn't have an outside cutting edge you can cut that pattern into your card or if you use it together with the plain one you'll get this gorgeous shape here so that would be also be really beautiful on a card and then I have just looked at this, which looks like a little border die. And that's for around the top of the gift box. But wouldn't that look just beautiful on a card as well? You could have a couple of those. You could even add the decorative strip and have it like this. You could lace between that. You could even lace up between these two. Or I'm just thinking that you could have it on here with this at the top part. And the whole thing would match in perfectly. I've actually gone ahead because I had a, I have really really love the Shutter Card Creator uh, die set, and although I haven't used the Shutter part on the inside, I think this one's absolutely fantastic. This came out a while ago, but it makes a really beautiful gatefold card too. So I've used some of the dies from this one, from this set, to decorate that, and you can see that I've used this little panel across the front here, and then this one and this one which makes a little um, gift tag and I've put that on top with a little uh, sequin on here and all of that looks beautiful together so definitely not just for making gift boxes you can make absolutely beautiful cards with that as well. So I have lots of pieces cut out I'll just set these aside and I'll be right back. First of all I'm sure you'll be delighted to know that there are actually instructions with the die set so reading those, it says to cut out three of the smaller circle, that's the one with the stitched line around it, that's this one, and two of the larger one. So I've gone ahead and done that, but I've also used this die, the stitched one again with this one, and made myself a little the pattern top for it. So I've, got, uh, I've been using Ballet Pink and Ivory cardstock, and that's going to be my lid then, the top of the lid. You also will need two of these. So I've got two of these cut out and I'm going to take one of my larger lids here, the larger circles, and first of all I need to just slightly shape this card. It's easier to do it with the flat part to the bottom. And then I'm going to fold in all of these little pieces and those are the glue tabs. So you want to make sure that you've got them all folded in carefully. You don't
don't need to fold in the, these little end ones. They're just for a guide. So what we do now then is put these all around the outside, put glue on them and line those up. So I find that the easiest way to do that is to put the glue on the tabs, set it down on a table here on, on a flat work surface and then hold one or two and then just move them around and hold them firmly in and then we can join the other one as well. When that's all glued in place I can go ahead then and prepare these little strips for going around the outside. So I've already got the, both of them cut and I've cut the little decorative strip here and I'm going to glue that on. Then I will curve these ones as well and add them onto the card, the lid. So you can see there where this little join is and it's best not to put this join here and emphasize that. So if you stagger those joins and just glue that one on and then put the other one on and I'll come back once I've done that for the next stage. When that's glued and the glue's dried, then we want to cover these tabs with one of the large die cut circles. So you just glue that right over the top there, and when I've done that, then I'm going to put that on, and that's the lid finished. just going to repeat the process in a similar way to make the sides. So I've chosen the long sides this time and just remember that these little tabs are the bottom so the decorative panel will be glued on this way with the scalloped edge facing up to the top and again I'm going to fold all these little tabs in. I'll not fold this one. I'm going to glue this on here and then join those around the base. Now the base this time, obviously because it's the, the actual gift box and not the lid, it's got to be smaller so that it fits inside there. So you're going to use one of the smaller circles. And again then, I just cover the tabs at the bottom with the, the other circle, so I'll just glue that on top. That not only covers the tabs, but it, it'll strengthen the bottom of the gift box. Now it says on the instructions that you can use this piece to cut out two more uh, little sections here and use those at the top. I have uh, actually gone ahead and already made a different one of these and I've used the 300 GSM card and I still put these on because they look nice but for this one where I'm using the Craft Perfect card 
it does actually strengthen the top of the box. So you could either put those on the inside or the outside and I actually quite like them on the outside. So I'll just go ahead and glue those on. Isn't that really pretty? I just love how that has turned out. And I love those colours, but I thought I would like to add some silver to it. So the handles and the straps are the next part. And to be honest, I looked at the instructions and I found them a little bit confusing because uh, it just looked complicated. But whenever I actually looked at the pieces, all I needed to do was identify what the actual names of these pieces are. And then it was actually very straightforward. So this is the strap. This is the strap die. And I've cut that out twice. Then we've got the strap join. So you want this little piece here. And you want to cut that out three times. So there it is. My three die cuts. Then we've got the handle clasp, which is this one. And you'll want to cut that out four times. So that's this die. And then we've got the handle swivel, which is this one cut from the larger die here with the two slits in the centre and you'll need eight of those and then we need the axle which is this one and you'll need six of those. So it's actually a lot more straightforward than it looks so let's go ahead and we'll take one of these strap joins first of all and what you want to do then is you can see there's a little um, score line there with a little fold on it so put one of those over there and just join that on and you'll want to put glue on here and here and then we'll do the same thing with the other side and I'll glue that first and when you've got it like that all you want to do with these other two pieces are to glue one on the top, directly on top there, and the other one underneath. And that strengthens that little join and covers the glue tabs. And that's the first bit done quite simply. Now for the next piece, you take these little axle pieces and divide them into three. So you're going to glue three of those on top of each other and these three on top of each other. And now you'll want to glue this each one of these onto one of the larger swivels. So just put that on there and make sure that the little slits are aligned. And you need to do that for two of them. So take your other little, what I would call a spacer piece, but those are three axles together, apparently. And glue that directly over the slits there and you'll have two pieces ready to go there. And those create the little spacers. Now you'll want to glue these together, so you'll put glue on both of them. Um, do this twice. So now you'll want to take this piece and add the handle clasp on there. And add glue, but only put it on the centre part there. It's not to go on that handle clasp at all and then put this piece over the top and the idea is that the, the handle clasp will still be able to move freely on there and the other part is joined so just hold that for a second or two and then repeat with the other one we've got the little strap and just go to the other ends of these straps now and fold that little piece over 
and I'll show you how to do one of them here. So that has got to go in there and just be glued around there. So we're going to put glue on this part and here and put it through there. And these other pieces then can be attached over the front there and over the back and that covers all the little joins and all the glue tabs and this is still free moving. So I'll go ahead, I'll glue that and then I'll repeat on the other side here. You can see there where I have that almost finished but the card that I was using is not double sided and I also wanted to make it just a little bit stronger anyway because this is quite narrow and there's not a lot of strength if it's going to be a handle and these are quite thick here so this wasn't in keeping with it. So I cut the little strap die out again twice and I've gone ahead and glued one on. So what I've just done is actually cut it, just set it down there and cut it to size and then I'm going to glue it on. Now I didn't fancy gluing it twice at the first stage or gluing it together in the first place because uh, then there would have been a lot of folding and thick tabs at the top so I think this is the best way to do that and um, it has worked out really well so there it is and there's my little handle now. So these are the parts then that get glued onto the side of the lid. You can see here, there's my handle. I'll just take the lid off the box for now. And this part gets glued on here and that will cover it just where that little join is there. And then the other one will go on that side. And that's the little box and lid finished with the handle. So that's it finished, isn't it beautiful? I added two little butterflies up on the top and they're from the Bunnies and Blooms uh, Designer's Choice die set and another two of them on the front here. And from the same die set that I made the, the gift box with, I've taken some of the other dies and made this little tag to go on the side. And I think that turned out really, really well. Now I just want to show you one more that I have done. Uh, similar to this. So I ha haven't got the full instructions for this one but it's so easy. It's virtually a copy of this one just with different paper. I'll set that over there. Now you remember this one that I showed you earlier, the car this card? Um, I've used the same papers then with the die set from here to make this one. And I've just used the shorter dies for the side and everything else is the same except for the pattern in the panel. So I've only cut the outside edge of this and cut it on plain paper and haven't used the intricate pattern in the centre of it. So I didn't need that on this because of the patterned paper. And then on the handle here you can see that I only used one sided uh, card. Well it's actually double sided card but um, it's not thick. So I didn't do what I did in this one by adding a second layer in. What I did in this one was added some Craft Perfect ribbon in there. That is Sweet Pink, I'll just show you it here, Sweet Pink double sided satin 3mm ribbon and that threaded nicely up in through there. I made myself a lovely little flower for the top and that was made by the, give it a twirl I think the name was, it was a kit a while back and then I've handwritten this little note to go inside and I've added some beautiful sequins on there that matched and on the note it says on the little tag this time, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. So when we open this up, you can see the flower that you'd pick. And that makes a lovely little gift. I was thinking actually, um, I, although I've done this in ivory and um, ballet pink, um, you could do this with all sorts of different colours and even put aroma drops in the centre there. And when you would take the, the lid off this, you'd have this beautiful scent coming out of the little box as well. So that matches in with this and I've added a little sequin on both. You can see it glittering there. 
and I think that just turned out really lovely. I always love it whenever my samples coordinate like that and to me that just looks like a beautiful set of samples there. It's just the die set is so perfect in every way and the card with it as well. So I will be back in a minute or two because I'm off to make something else now but I'm happy with those so far. So this one is my final sample and you can see it's a bit different from the others in that I've used speciality paper here and a ribbon around it and just decorated it a little differently uh, using a combination of all of those things but I have a step-by-step -step photographic tutorial on that one over on my blog and I'll have the link down below where you can see that one and uh, you'll be able to follow along all the steps to do this as well there in picture form as well as uh, being able to see it in video form on these other two. So that's me finished with this for now. Um, I have really really enjoyed that. I'm so happy with the way these have all turned out. It's an absolutely beautiful die set. So um, there you are, that's the last little one as well. And I am absolutely delighted with them. I hope you enjoy them too. I hope you like the cards. I hope you enjoy the die set if you get it. Um, I will have my affiliate links to that down below and everything else that I've used in the whole process. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell so that you'll know the next time a video comes along. And uh, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up because that always helps. But let me know what you think. Chat to me down in the comments there. I enjoy that too. Tell me what you think about it, what you might have thought of doing with it, how you would do something differently or whatever, because that's all good fun too. And don't forget... I, I hope I mentioned this before, but I got so carried away with all my samples and whatnot. Um, these little pivots do move back and forwards, and that handle will move up and down. That was actually the whole point of putting the pivots on there, but um, enjoy, and thanks once again for your company, and thanks for joining me, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.